but raise money for charity at the same time. It's a very ambitious record attempt. These five boys and five girls have to spend the next 24 hours swimming with only short breaks. The present world record was set just a few weeks ago, and amazingly, it's held by this club's arch rivals from across the Tyne, Gateshead. It stands at 93.39 miles. That's 6,575 lengths. I think we should do because we're, we're trained there for an hour and a half practicing and we're about 10 minutes ahead of the record there. We don't know if uh, we can hold that for 24 hours though. So. What's going to be the main problem? Uh, probably the psychological uh, swimming up for 24 hours. But uh, we've got people who would like to cheer what on and call the time for the 24 hours so that should help. The boys and girls will be swimming in relays with four in the water at any one time. They started this morning at half past ten. Until now, there's been only one world record, but the Guinness Book of Records have promised to accept a women's record if the girls manage more than 80 miles. I think that they don't realise how hard it's going to be till they get involved in it. We've had one or two little training sessions towards it, but there's nothing that can compare with swimming for 24 hours till you actually do that. How are these young people going to find it when they're swimming for that length of time? I think they're going to find it. <laughs> we'll find out how it, go, it goes along. I think they're going to have to understand to be able to pace themselves, to see what it's like, and just to be able to, uh, really, to... Castle today during a 24-hour marathon charity swim. Ten teenagers started swimming at 10 o'clock yesterday morning to raise money for a children's heart charity. Arlie McCabe joined them at Northumberland Road Baths for the last minutes of their marathon session. 24 hours of gruelling swimming is almost at an end for these time fight teenagers. At 8 o'clock this morning, the girls' world record was broken at 80 miles. Any second now, the boys will hopefully smash the world record, now standing at just over 93 miles. It fell to 19-year-old Alistair Boy to complete the record-winning length. I'm uh, very itchy off the water. Did you think you'd actually do it when you started 24 hours ago? I, we had a good idea that we were doing, but we didn't know exactly though. It was pretty close whether we were doing or not. How long have you been training for this? Well, we didn't do any training at all really. We just did our normal training for swimming. Because this is similar, but we don't do one length all the time though. But it's quite similar to what we do in training. The youngsters could now have expected a well-earned rest, not so. They have another three quarters of an hour to go to complete the 24-hour swim and set the new record. Supporters willed on the now exhausted swimmers. Away into the record books. They target new men's and women's world records for swimming for 24 hours. But at half past ten this morning, both teams had achieved just that. But it certainly wasn't easy. It was the longest, wettest night these ten youngsters have spent. From half past ten yesterday morning, they've been in the water, swimming in relays, their target, the world record for swimming 24 hours. It was set only a few weeks ago, amazingly enough, by the city club's old rivals, Gateshead. The world record stands at 93.39 miles. Until now, there's been no women's record, but the Guinness Book of Records said they'd accept one if the girls swam more than 80 miles. They passed that target at 8 o'clock and kept on swimming, delighted but very tired. It's been bad bits and good bits. The worst bits diving in and getting out at the end. It was a pretty uh, tiring night, was it? Yeah, very. <laughs> you don't want to do this again, Harry. No, not really. There was one injury among the men. A groin strain kept one of the five swimmers out of the water for an hour, but he was soon back with the rest, swimming against the clock, finding reserves of stamina few knew they had. It's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Uh, I was great for about the first 16 hours. Then I seemed to hit a brick wall. I think it's something like the marathon. But since then, it's been OK. What's been the worst bit of all this? I think the middle part was. Yeah. Just before halfway, you know, you thought, we are not even halfway yet, we've been swimming for 12 hours, you know. So that really, the psychological battle, really. The men faced 6,576 lengths when they started. As that number dwindled into single figures, the excitement grew until just one length remained. The young man who swam the club into the record books was Alistair Boyd.
and still they kept swimming, pushing the world record even further, making the most of every minute of the 24 hours they had. With the world record smashed and a new one set, it was time for celebration. The men had completed 6,778 lengths, that's 96.28 miles. The ladies had managed 6,270 lengths and established a women's record of 89.06 miles. So in true swimmer style, they showed their coach how grateful they were for his help and encouragement. Champagne may not be the ideal training drink, but these swimmers had deserved it. It's a record, isn't it? It's there to be broken. It's there. Who, whoever wants to take it next week, it's there. That's what all records are for. Once it's there, it's for someone else to have a go at. And best of luck with it. Yes, not me, though. Very well done, indeed, for breaking those records and also raising money for the Children's Heart Unit Fund.